Hello and welcome everyone to our English class. Just a reminder, we are in second intermediate grade. We're in the first semester. Our lesson today is 3A Ouch Vocabulary and Read presented and prepared by Muhammad Falata. Let's start everybody. What we are going to learn today? We are going to practice vocabulary related to parts of the body, an accident, God forbid, and we are going to talk about the past event and accident, of course. Okay? Let's start. Match. This is the body of a kid. We want to know where is the head, the foot, arm, leg, face, hand, knee, and ankle. So... Number three here is the arm. What about the rest? Where is the head? I need you to do it. Okay. Where is the foot? Good. What about the leg? The difference between foot and leg. Yes. What about the face? What about the hand, knee, ankle? Here's the ankle. Okay, it's number eight. And let's see the answers. Here is the head, of course. And this is what the face. The face is number five. And what is this? This is number six, the hand. And this one, let's take this one. This one here is the number seven, knee. And this is the leg, number four. Last but not least is the foot, number Okay, we got it. Okay, ouch. Ouch. It's when you have a pain. It's expression when you, when you have a pain. Like this girl. Okay. Okay, everybody. Look and complete and listen to check your answers. We have three banana, bike, arm, um, broke, and wall. Let's read it first, and then we're gonna listen to the audio and check our answers. Number one, Brian jumped off a. Look at the picture. What do you think? Fell down and hurt his what? And his back, and broke his finger. Number two, Tim fell off his, what, choose your answer, and hurt his knee. Number three, Nigel crashed into a, what, hit his head and blank, his wrist. Number four, Jeff slipped on a skin fell down and sprained his ankle. Okay, choose your answers. Okay, we're gonna check our answers. Gonna listen to the audio. Please listen carefully. Module 3. Adventure. 3A. Ouch. 1. Vocabulary. Look at the pictures and complete the sentences with the words in the box. Then listen and check your answers. 1. Brian jumped off a wall, fell down and hurt his arm and his back, and broke his finger. 2. Tim fell off his bike 
and hurt his knee. Okay, everybody, we just listened to the answers. And number one, Brian jumped off a, of course, wall. Okay, fell down and hurt his arm. Okay, what about Tim? Tim fell off his bike and hurt his knee. All these are accident, everybody. Don't forget that. We are learning about some accident, God forbid. Let's listen to the next section. 3. Nigel crashed into a tree, hit his head and broke his wrist. 4. Jeff slipped on a banana skin, fell down and sprained his ankle. Okay, Nigel crashed into a tree. This is the tree that Nigel crashed on it. Hit his head and broke his wrist. Okay, number four. Jeff slipped on a, of course, banana skin. Banana skin. Okay, everybody, let's go and read. Look at the picture of the cat and the people that were involved in a car accident. And guess what happened? There's a kid, there's a car, there's a guy, and there's a cat. What do you think happened? Maybe the cat doing something, maybe the car hit the boy, or hit the cat. This is a witness. What do you think? Guess what happened? It's an accident. The boy, car, a man, and cat. Let's see what happened. A police officer, this is a police officer, everybody, is interviewing three eyewitnesses. Eyewitnesses. To the accident, listen, read, and check your answers. Okay. Eyewitness is, what do you think, guys? Is he a person who works hard? Or a person who saw an accident happen. An eye witness. Eye witness. Eye witness. Eye witness. Of course, he is the person who saw an accident happen. This is an eye witness. So the police officer is interviewing three eyewitnesses to the accident. Okay, everybody, we are going to listen to the first eyewitness. Please listen carefully because we have some question about it. Let's start. Two, read. B. A police officer is interviewing three eyewitnesses to the accident. Listen, read, and check your answers. Then read the dialogues out in groups. Excuse me, what exactly happened here? I'm not sure. I live in that house over there. I just saw the boy. He was lying on the pavement and his knee was bleeding, so I called for an ambulance. Did a car hit the boy? I really don't know. Is he OK now? The boy? Yes. He just hurt his back and his knee. OK, we just listened to the first eyewitness. Let's be an officer. So, we have a question. Take the correct answer. Question. Is Mr. Andrews 
sure about what happened? Is he sure? Yes or no? Number two, does he live nearby? Yes or no? Is the boy okay now? Is the boy okay now? Yes or no? And is Mr. Andrews sure about what happened? No. Said, I'm not sure. Okay. Does he live nearby? Yes. He said, I live over here or over there. Is the boy okay now? Said, yes. Okay. Good, 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 good. Let's go to the next eyewitness. Let's be a detective now. We are the police officer. We are going to interview the next eyewitness. So listen carefully and take your notes. Excuse me, did you see the accident? Yes, the boy was skateboarding on the pavement. Suddenly, I saw the car. Where were you? I was walking on the other side of the street. Was the driver going fast? Yes. But suddenly, the car swerved, changed direction, and almost hit the boy. So the car didn't hit the boy? No. He just fell down, and the car crashed into a tree. That's strange. OK, this is the next eyewitness. OK, I hope you are taking notes now because we have question we want to know what's happened to this accident okay let's go to the question question number one was the boy reading when the accident happened was he reading Number two, was Jake on the other side of the street? Number three, did the car hit the boy? Okay, let's go back. Give you a moment to pick up your answer. So the answer is was the boy reading when of course no he wasn't reading he was skateboarding was jake on the other side of the street yes of course did the car hit the boy no okay let's go to the third and last eyewitness and please also take some notes Excuse me, can you explain what happened? Well, there was a cat, you see. Ah, oh, a cat. Yes, it was in the middle of the street. I think the driver didn't want to hit it, so he... Now I understand. The driver swerved because of the cat and almost hit the boy. What boy? Never mind. Aha, uh -huh. we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, I hope you are taking notes now because we have some questions. Let's go to the question. Was the cat in the middle of the street? Question number two. Did Mr. Peters see everything happen? Number three. Did Mr. Peters see the boy? Okay, let's take the answers now. Was the cat in the middle of the street? Yes, of course. Did Mr. Beater see everything happened? No. Did Mr. Beater see the boy? No, of course. That's why he didn't see everything happen. Okay, let's fill the blanks. And 
this is the whole story everybody we have this word driving street skateboarding cat hit pavement crash knee and skateboard so let's complete the story a boy was skateboarding on the a young man was his car but he was going fast suddenly he saw a in the middle of the so he swerved and into a tree he didn't the boy but the boy fell off his and hurt his back and his okay give you a moment please write down the answers this is our story about the accident. Oh, okay, on the pavement, this is number one, a young man was driving. Number two, his car, but he was going fast. Suddenly, he saw a cat in the middle of the street of course so he swerved and crashed into a tree he didn't hit the boy but the boy fell off his skateboard this number seven and hurt his back and his of course knee and his knee. This is skateboarding. Okay, this is our story. Okay, everybody? Okay. Circle the correct word. What is this picture? Is it crash or skateboarding? Of course, it's a crash. Number two, cat or pavement? This is the, it's not a cat, it's a pavement, okay? side or head number three of course it's a head okay okay let's complete everybody banana skin or bike this is of course a banana skin skateboarding or driving of course it's a skateboarding knee or back this is your knee of course okay very good very good very good. today and we learned about a lot of about of vocabulary part of the body ankle arm back wrist and hand verb related to accident fall down crash into a car or crash into a tree Hit break. Read dialogue. Eyewitness. Police officer. And pavement. We took it. Read the dialogue. And we know all about the story. Thank you very much. This is the end of our class.